What is up guys, Rengat here, and today I'm going to be talking about the weirdest TF2 item that I currently know to exist. This item is so unusual that I cannot even wrap my head around it. Its origins are a mystery as well as its use. Without further ado, I present to you this. Now look at it for a second, and tell me what you see that seems strange. If your guess is that there is no series number assigned to this crate, then you would be right. This item is the seriesless Manco Supply Crate, or as I'm going to be calling it, the Manco Supply Crate Series Zero. Now, I mentioned this item in my Glitched Item Iceberg video, but in my opinion, this item is so cool that it deserves a video of its own. There are actually three of these in existence all being owned by two high tier traders, one of whom is a Steam friend of mine. Now, what makes this item so weird is that nobody actually knows what happens when you open it. There are no items listed in the description, nor is there a series number, so there's really no way to know what would happen without opening it. The only thing we really know about this is that it must be an older crate due to its crate model. This crate image was used from the very first Manco Supply Crate in 2010 and ended with the Manco Supply Crate Series 77 in 2014, before being transitioned into a new crate model for Series 82. This being said, the crate had to have been dropped sometime between September 30th of 2010 and April 1st of 2014. Since we have no more information on it, all we can do is theorize. And since I cannot contemplate how an item like this would work, let's ask the actual owners of this item what they think would happen when opened. Hack the Gibson is my Steam friend who owns this item. And according to him, there are three things that may happen when opened. Number one, the crate disappears and you get nothing. Two, it will not even open in the first place and will just return to your inventory. Or three, it will give an item from the Manco Supply Crate Series 1, which I believe is the least likely of the three. However, all of them are good theories since we have little to no information on this crate. Now, I would try to track down the original owners of these crates, the people who actually obtained them, to ask how these crates came to be. But unfortunately, Backpack.tf had a server reset of some kind that completely wiped the previous owner history of all TF2 items. So, unless I had the current and previous owners look through their trade history to find who they got it from, it would be virtually impossible. And even if we find the original owners, there is no guarantee that they are still active or that they would even remember how it happened. So again, all we can do is theorize. There are two possibilities in my opinion for how they got into the game. The first is that they were dropped during a very slim time frame when Valve first implemented crates into the game, but for some reason when they were dropped there was no crate series applied, and soon after it was fixed. The second theory is that it was an issue with Steam support granting the crates back to players, but forgetting to give crates a series number. If you watched my Glitched Item Iceberg video, you would know how often things like this happened back in the day, and honestly, that's probably what happened. Well, since we have no more information, and I really don't know where to go from here, I would like to hear your theories on this crate. Where do you think it came from, and what do you think would happen when you opened it? Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Rain God out.